move over to the neighbor. Welcome to this 21st day in Lent. It's March 8th today, our youngest boy's birthday. 32. Just got engaged this week. Yeah, Bumblebee and I are out for a while. Oh, Bumblebee, can you sit? Hey, sit. Can you sit? Can you sit? And say hi. Hey, wrong way. Look this way. Look this way. Are you playing hard to get? <laughs> Maybe she thinks her profile is her best side. Just finishing up a walk in the neighborhood. We've got, uh, hi there. Really good neighbors is George and Allison. We're fortunate to live in a neighborhood with really good neighbors. We, uh, when we had the fire summer before last, we certainly, uh, well, they certainly proved it if we didn't know already, but of course we did. Walking by our right next door neighbor across the street. We've got really good neighbors. It makes living so much easier when you've got good neighbors, neighbors you can count on, rely on one another, help each other out, uh, come to each other's aid, but mostly even just get along. Be able to have a how you doing today, neighbor? Conversation. We're in front of our house now. The next house over, that's our other neighbor. We all get along. We've all been over supper at each other's places. Well, the scripture I'm thinking about today comes from Mark chapter 12. And it says, uh, but one of the scribes, starting in verse 28, says, uh, says to Jesus, um, what is the first commandment? And uh, Jesus says, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. And the second one is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Well, we've got great neighbors. Have you ever had a neighbor that you didn't get along with? You just didn't like? Maybe you had a neighbor that just didn't like you and you never really understood why. Hey, Bumblebee. We got good neighbors, they all like you, don't they? <laughs> yeah, we do get along. We did have a neighbor that lived behind us. Uh, we got along with him great. Uh, and he was a good man, he's generous and, uh, in his own way. But just personality traits, he really struggled to get along with any of the other neighbors and they struggled to get along with him. Not a blame thing, just un unfortunate. Well, he's moved away now, and I do miss him. I often asked, how is it that we get along with him so well? How can we be friends with him? And uh, I, uh, I would always say, well, we get along with him so well because we choose to. Look past the little idiosyncrasies, the, you know, the things that make us unique. <laughs> when uh, I think about, or when Jesus says to love our neighbor, we often we'll right away go to those neighbors we we don't like and how is it we could possibly love them if we don't even like them I think there's a big difference between like and love it might be hard to like sometimes uh, there's many people in our lives that we love dearly but sometimes we don't like them that much maybe you've got a few of those in your own family <laughs> well you have to rise above the like and the dislike to still love them continue to love them Maybe you've had a neighbor that you didn't get along with ever, but then something happened like the fire we had in our backyard, uh, our, our neighbor's yard, but affected us and how every neighbor in, er, around, those that knew us and those that didn't, were here, you know, helping out and doing what they could. Some of them maybe don't even particularly like us, but they still came uh, and uh, as we would for them. Loving your neighbor, it sounds hard, when we think about love in the sense of, you know, a strong like and, and want to be in a great relationship with, we don't have to be in a great relationship in order to love our neighbor as we do. Well, that's what I'm thinking about on this cool day, March 8th day here. Where'd you go? There you are. Can I say hi again? Hey. Oh, you're making it hard on me. There you are. <laughs> Let's pray. 
Gracious and loving God, we give thanks for neighbors. The neighbors we love and care for and like a lot, and we give thanks for those that maybe are a little harder to like. Help us to be uh, the people who obey your commandments to love God and to love our neighbor. In this we pray, amen. Well, I'm not sure if you're able to get out today because it is kind of a eh day, but I like being outside. Tomorrow, I think I'm going for a, a hike in one of the local uh, hiking trails. So uh, I'll probably be, well, I'll probably see you from there tomorrow. God bless. Have a great day. Shall we go inside? Eh, have, we both, have we walked enough? I think so. Let's go inside. Thank <laughs> you.